Today we're gonna compare the Honor 20 Pro versus the Mate 20 and that's the regular Mate 20, not the Pro version. The Honor 20 Pro actually came out recently while the Mate 20 is almost a year over. So if I turn around where the sun's behind me, honestly, I'm liking the look on the Mate 20 more than the Honor 20 Pro. So this is a super low light test of the front facing camera and the only thing lighting me is the cars passing by and the street light behind me. So I'm in a car right now, obviously it's super dark, but let's move on to the next section. Starting off with the front facing camera in portrait mode, I do like the Mate 20 much better just because it has better skin tone. It looks more realistic, whereas on the Honor 20 Pro, it's much more green. More things to point out is that the background blur is much stronger on the Mate 20. And if you look at the sky, the HDR does seem to work better as well than the Honor 20 Pro. For low light, both of them aren't that great. There's a bunch of noise and artifacts going on but I do like the colors on the Mate 20 much better. Now moving on to the back camera for portrait mode, the Honor 20 Pro wins here for me. Just because I can see more in the shadows, I do like the colors and contrast as well. One thing I wanna point out in portrait mode on these phones, that it doesn't really take account of the sky. Clearly you can see it's all white, and if you go in normal mode, you can actually see more clouds, more texture, so honestly, I don't really like shooting in portrait mode. There is aperture mode, which I do recommend, just because you can bring back the sky and you do get almost the same effect with the blurry background. Now when you take pictures in aperture mode, the colors are different and the only benefit I can think of on the Honor 20 Pro is that you do get a 3x whereas on the Mate 20, the highest you can go to is 2x. Now the Honor 20 Pro does have its own macro lens and I thought that that would do better than the Mate 20 but realistically, I find my results better on the Mate 20 just because I can get closer to the subject and the pictures tend to look better. In terms of just taking regular pictures in ultra wide and wide, they both look good. Once you get into the telephoto, that's when you start to see the differences. First off, the Mate 20 only offers 2x, whereas on the Honor 20 Pro, it offers 3x, 5x, and you can actually zoom in up to 30x. On the Mate 20, you can only zoom up to 10x. So unless if you like to use the telephoto lens a lot, I don't really see the big upgrade in terms of photo quality. Now moving on to low light, I gotta give it to the Honor 20 Pro. On a telephoto lenses, it still applies that the Honor 20 Pro is still better, it looks sharper and much cleaner. Now I gotta say on the Mate 20, the color and the brightness, I do like that more than the Honor 20 Pro, but looking at the background, at the noise and the quality of the picture, I gotta hand that category to the Honor 20 Pro. Now for testing out night mode, I gotta say it's a hit or miss. It does look cleaner overall, but then in really dark spots, you can tell that you can see a lot of purple artifacts and sometimes you just don't see it as much, but you can tell if you look in the corners, it just starts to creep up into the picture. So in addition to the quality of the telephoto lenses, the low light photography is better as well. Is it a night and day improvement? Not really, but it is still an improvement overall. Now moving on into video, on the Mate 20 for stabilization, you can tell it's not as great as the Honor 20 Pro. There's a bit more wobble and more of that handheld shake. Now I am shooting with the ultra wide angle lenses here and it's obvious that the Mate 20 is much wider than the Honor 20 Pro. Now once you switch to the main regular camera, the focal length is about the same thing. And you can see here the colors are different. On the Mate 20 it's much more flat and on the Honor 20 Pro it's more of the warmer slash more saturated look. Moving on to low light video, one thing I want to point out really quickly is the weird flare I always have on the Mate 20. You can tell if you look at that light, you can see that there's a line within that street light, not a perfect circular shape. Now the Honor 20 Pro does shift a little bit and it does cause some weird flaring, but nonetheless, I think the Honor 20 Pro still looks better in terms of flaring. Now looking at the darker areas, you can tell that there's a lot of grain and noise artifacts showing up in both of these cameras. Both of them are not that great in low light video, but if I have to pick one, I gotta go with the Mate 20. So that is my camera comparison between the Mate 20 and the Honor 20 Pro. Let me know which one you think is the winner or which one you would prefer, or if it's even worth the upgrade if you're planning to upgrade to this phone. So I do have links down below if you are interested in these products. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.